Right, in today's episode I'm going to make a fixture plate out of this bit of um, 10 mil, was it 10 mil? Yeah, just 10 mil mild steel, nothing special. I'm going to square it up, um, machine the face off, both sides, and then drill a load of holes in it. Let's go. Right, I can put it in this way because I'm going to square the edge because if I just stand it up on end that doesn't mean that one of these edges is going to be perpendicular to this edge so if I mill it on the end that I'll know that that's square to these edges different one in, that's rubbish that bit. It's a cheap mill, milling cutter that I bought and it's, well, it's, it is what it is, rubbish. Whenever I'm buying cheap mill bits, I always hear a little voice in my ear saying, don't do it, don't do it, you know it's going to be rubbish. And then you think to yourself, well, just try it, it might be okay. But nine times out of ten, your first instincts are right and it's rubbish. Right. So it goes with a decent bit in now. instantly tell by uh, the chips that are coming off that uh, this is far superior this bit. biggest face mill I've got. It's a, a carbide insert face mill. It's far too big um, for my machine really. Um, you know, particularly for doing uh, steel like this. But you know, I mean, this is only mild steel and uh, the, the cutter is just far too big anyway. But um, it, it did get through it. Um, the surface finish is okay, but realistically on a fixture plate you really want to have a, a surface grinder but I haven't got a surface grinder so I'm just going to get the best finish I can with the tools I've got. Uh, as it turned out once I uh, milled the faces off um, it wasn't too bad. I mean it was flat enough, it was certainly within the sort of tolerances to what my little uh, hobby shop work with so I'm quite pleased with the uh, outcome as you'll see as the video progresses.
tap some threads in now. See how far we get before we uh, <laughs> break the tap. Right, just in case you're wondering, I am using a machine tap to tap these out. It's not just a, a standard tap and um, it's going quite well. And um, as you'll see, I did get through the whole plate without breaking the tap, which I was quite pleased about because they're quite expensive compared to um, cheaper taps. But uh, I think it was worth the extra money because I could uh, speed through. This is uh, speeded up at 200 times by the way so I wasn't going through them that quick. The whole operation to drill the plate was uh, half an hour and then another half an hour to tap a thread in all of the holes. I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the video but um, how I'm getting to these holes I've got it all set up on the DRO so I'm uh, going the distance. I've marked all of the distances down on my whiteboard so I'm just following the distances on the uh, Y and the Z axis um, so I can uh, relocate in exactly the same place as I drilled the holes in for tapping them. fixture plate. I haven't got any uh, small clamps. Uh, I know these are a bit overkill but you, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to make some small clamps and uh, so you can clamp and hold awkward little things that you can't uh, hold in the vise. But you put, put the uh, fixture plate in the vise and then hold it down with some small clamps. I'm going to make the small clamps uh, in a different video so uh, they'll, they'll be coming up soon that's all folks i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button i would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that i can keep making these videos please leave a comment or a question i do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.